Welcome to Copper Thoughts Media. Here we are with another rip for Copper Thoughts cards. So today we're going to be going through an older blaster that I came across. I've had this for a while. I was selling it up on my store on Poshmark. I'll probably leave the link in the store or, or in the <laughs> to the store in the link below. But I had just it's been sitting around and I figured, you know, I might as well rip it on camera because a lot of things have been going on in the hobby, especially regarding PSA and SGC, <clears throat> excuse me, I also just put another, well, my first PSA order out, um, difficult, I don't want to say difficult process, but very interesting, for one, I sent off, I'm going to put up this on the screen, uh, some WBC World Baseball Classic All-Star cards, and I wasn't sure if they qualified for the MLB special, and they in fact did, which is nice. So, since I did, I sent off 10. First time sending off two PSA or to collectors. Usually I send off to P or SGC, as you guys see. And, well, like I said, the process was different. A lot of paperwork involved. Um, you have to put the sticker on the outside of the box. Um, it took about two weeks for them to respond back to the email because even at my local... Dave and Adams, I asked them, and they said they weren't sure either. So, uh, I know I'll probably get upcharged as the one card, which I show, I'm showing up on screen, is a Mike Trout 2 of 5 orange parallel. So, I figured before, you know, last week and everything, I said, hey, for numbered cards or cards of big value, I would send them the PSA because that's what you know, that's what the, the hobby, the industry, that's the industry standard, especially when it comes to resell, right? This is a personal card. I just like PSA for one because of the QR code on the back. Sorry, there's something on my hand. There we go. Uh, QR code on the back lets you know exactly how many are in the population at any moment. I love that about PSA. I'm not really crazy about the red label on the top, but in this case, I do like it because, well, it matches his jersey. So that's one of the reasons why I always keep that card or use it as an example. Here's another one, too, uh, a classic SGC card. I think these look great in these black tuxedos, so to speak. Uh, I will continue to send, especially older vintage cards, especially from the 80s, 90s, which is obviously the most of what you've seen me ripping on this channel. But when it comes down to it, I have two more left from the hobby box I ripped of, let me see, these cards down here. And I always said, hmm, I'll send one to SGC to one to PSA. But now it's like, well, why not? I, I, I'm, it's not I want to say why not. It's a matter of just seeing which holder, which one would grade better. But I don't know. I wonder what people, other people think. What do you guys think? PSA or SGC? To me, like I said, I'm still going to use SGC. I wish they had the QR codes on the back of the cards or even on the front. It will be very helpful to let you know um, exactly the population when you're, especially at card shows or even just anywhere. But back to this Chronicles pack 2022, you have Marjan Beauchamp on the front. Kennedy Chandler, and I realized some of these names after I saw the All-Star game, I was like, you know what, some of these people are, this was a pretty good class, here's a Kendall Brown, it looks like a Power Formulas card, nice color, and last one is a Jason Tatum, looks like a base select, not numbered or anything, but I guess the big taste in this is a Pablo Pachenko, also there's a couple different Chet Holmgrams in here. I think I have pulled a Chet Holmgram in the past. Jeez. Could not get that open. <laughs> so here is a EJ Liddell. Next up, ooh, the Revolutions. These kind of hurt my eyes, but nice. Speaking of, here's a nice Chet Holmgram. This is going in the PC. I've been PCing the the freaks of the NBA. I hate to say it that way. 
but no, the the Bol Bol, Chet Holmgren, and of course uh, Wemby. But yeah, let's. Oh, here's an Anthony Edwards on the recon. I just sold one of these recently, so I might keep it. I just sold one of his rookie cards. That's not a rookie, but here let's put Chet up real quick. And in terms of his gameplay, he's been doing very well. As has been Wemby, but they've just been losing. And here's that Anthony Edwards on the Purple Recon. Not numbered or anything. But that's okay. Everything doesn't need to be numbered. <laughs> It'll just be helpful. Next back here. Once again, I love the Chronicles because of the variety of cards. And right on cue, we get a Jaden Ivey on the Rated Rookie. I'm pretty sure he was in the All-Star Game or one of them. That sounds like, wait a second. A lot of these players, I think, are in this pack. Next up, we have a Ron Harper Jr. on the Revolutions Rookie. We'll keep the shiny cards separate. Here's a Gamma Rays, Caleb Houston. Or, yeah, Houston, I guess. I don't know. And last but not least is a Carmelo Anthony Orange. And I will say, of all the cards that come in Chronicles, these are my least favorite. These Flux cards. Ugh. I mean, for one, it says orange. It's yellow. <laughs> to me. <laughs> but I don't know. Not a big fan of those cards. Right, we got two packs left. So once again, back to SGC and PSA. I also have an order at SGC, and it's taken a long time. Um, it literally took about 10 days just to be received. And I was like, what's going on? And then, obviously, the announcement happened, so... Here's a Benedict Mathman on the rookie. I definitely saw him in the rookie game or the All Star game. Here's a Christian Braun. The Luminescence. Jalen Duren on the Elite. Ooh, nice. And another Chet Holmgren on the Pink. I'm glad I didn't sell this pack. <laughs> or I'm glad no one bought it, rather. Because it was for sale. It's awesome. All right, last pack. Let's hope for something. Who knows? All right, we got a Jabari Smith Jr. I did one of the cards I sent off to SGC was a Jabari Smith Jr. I pulled from one of these that was numbered. So I might put that up on the screen. Here is a Zach Levine on the Revolutions. That's pretty cool. These cards literally hurt my eyes. Here's a purple Elite Jaden Ivy. Pretty nice color on that card. I don't know if that's a mark on there. Next up, we have another Benedict Mathman. Nice on the rookie. Oh, that was the last card. Look at that. Not a big fan of the mosaics, but they do show a lot of wear. Looks like there's a little bit of damage on the outside of there, too. But overall, pretty good pack. Like I said, <laughs> I'm glad I uh, didn't sell this one. Makes me wonder what else was in the ones that I have sold. But hey, that's the life of flipping and reselling, you know, guys? What do you know? But yeah, back to SGC PSA. What do you guys think? Like I said, I'm still going to definitely use SGC for vintage. Anything high numbered, high value, I send to PSA. So I'll definitely be giving an update on the, those cards that I received back. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe and see you on the next time.